What I tell patients and what I tell my friends and family is everything has risk. Getting in a car and driving a car carries risk. But we do everything we can to minimize those risks. We wear a seatbelt, we have a car that has an airbag, we drive safely, we watch things around us. We do that to try to decrease our risk. When we enter the hospital, nothing is zero risk, but we do everything we can from the hospital's perspective as well as from the physician's perspective and our nurses and our frontline workers to take every additional precaution we can to minimize risk. Every morning when I walk into the hospital, I get questioned about symptoms. I get my temperature checked every single day, as does every person walking into the hospital. In terms of procedures before patients come in, we are doing screening for patients to make sure that they do have a COVID test prior to coming in, to really make sure that we're doing everything we can to keep not only our patients, but our staff and our employees uh, safe, as well as the other patients that are in the hospital. From a surgical perspective, we are used to washing our hands and using hand sanitizers all the time. When we're in the operating room and our hands are sterile, we know that we can't touch something. If we do, we have to change our gloves and rewash our hands. I'm a son, I'm a husband, I'm a father. And I don't want to put myself or my family at any increased risk. And I feel very comfortable coming to the hospital because I know that we're taking the precautions necessary to protect our patients, to protect me, and to protect my family. We're wearing masks, we're keeping our distance, we're using hand sanitizers anytime we touch something, we're washing our hands. Patients can rest assured that we are doing everything that we possibly can and then some to make sure that they are being kept safe by our cleaning measures. We are taking precautions that protect us, our families, and our patients.